What's going on, y'all? We gonna start off the video by triggering. That's right. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Knocks out Daniel Dubois in the first round. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So we on my drive to work. Before we get into the video, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you really like to subscribe to the channel because that is what helps me out the most. And don't forget, I go live Monday through Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in North South America or if you're in Europe, Africa, or Asia, that is live at 9 EDT. EDT. That's right. So with that being said, let's get into this morning drive video. Joe Joyce versus Daniel Dubois. How do I see this going? First off, I want y'all to take a look at my picture. Just look at that picture right there. Do you see how much bigger Joe Joyce is than Daniel Dubois And I'm bringing this up for a reason Normally when you see Daniel Dubois in there Against the people they put him in there against He's the bigger man The bigger, stronger man Well In this fight he's going to be the smaller man And he's the much weaker man Because of this same press conference That you see in this picture Daniel Dubois went to push Joe Joyce And he actually ended up pushing himself Backwards off of him Almost like he was pushing against a wall. Now, this is boxing. It's not MMA. And strength is not going to save you. But my only point to this is when you're the younger, bigger, stronger man, it's a whole different thing when you come up against an older, bigger, much stronger man. Because Joyce is much stronger because he didn't budge. So that tells you that he's the much stronger man. Now, here's the thing about Joe Joyce. When you watch him in the amateurs and when he first went pro, I believe he fought Usyk. I believe that was the amateur fight that I saw of him. He was a lot more fluid in his movements. And that could be attributed to, to maybe his size. He's, he's bigger, not as agile, not as fluid, and he's, and he's slow. But here's the thing about it. Daniel Dubois is slow too. And unlike Joe Joyce, Dubois to me has never looked fluid. He has looked pretty much the same. As Joe Joyce, you have two big guys, with Joyce being the bigger in this case, and they're pretty much the same to me. They're both very strong guys. They're both come forward type fighters. They're both pretty slow. If there was going to be a speed edge, I would give it to Daniel Dubois. I think he's a little bit faster with his foot movement in his hands, but I don't think much. I don't think the the hand speed difference is going to be enough to who's going to get off first I just I, I don't really see them that much different because when I watch them fight I actually think Joe Joyce has a better reaction time so I think the better reaction time and the slower speed and then the faster speed slower reaction time is pretty much going to balance itself out to where you're going to be seeing guys land pretty much at the same rate of speed um and it's really, I think it's really going to come down to who has the better chin. I believe it was Lardy that I saw rock Daniel Dubois. And that was a guy who came to the fight out of shape. So I, I cannot recall, and I could be wrong to all my UK people. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I can't recall a time that I've ever seen Joe Joyce rock. And off of that is the main reason why I think Joe Joyce is going to win this fight by knockout. I think either way it goes, somebody's going to get knocked out. I don't see this going to the decision, the scorecards, because both these guys are just two come forward, um, swing for the fences type fighters. They're, they're not really, they're not like AJ, where they're going to combo punches together, work off the jab as much, and, and use actual boxing skills to beat you. These two guys are going to come at you and they're just going to swing on you and beat you up and break you down by hitting you. So, hold on one second, y'all. There is a cop. We got the phone off my shoulder. Unfortunately, in my state, if the phone is seen anywhere on your body, you can get a ticket. So, now that we've passed the cop, I'm watching him. I'm watching him. All right, now that we pass the phones back on my shoulder so y'all can hear me better. So again, both are come forward fighters. Both have not the best of defenses. It, again, what edges I give Daniel Dubois, 
are small. Like, I would say, in my opinion, I think Daniel Dubois has the better defense, but I don't think he has the better defense by much. This game right here between these two is, like, ruled in inches. Maybe not even inches. Let, let's go to y'all uh, metric system, millimeters. This is really in millimeters, like, even smaller than inches. Like, I'm telling you, the separation of these two is very little. <laughs> but then I have to come to... Who do I think has a better chin? By far, Joe Joyce. Who do I think can hit harder? I believe Joe Joyce. So those two aspects right there I have to take into account when I know they both get hit a lot, especially Joe Joyce. It's like he can't... It, it's almost like Joe Joyce puts his face in, in the direction of the punch because he gets hit in the head a lot. So, you know, Joe... Joe <laughs> Joyce can't seem to get out the way of punches, and Dubois can be hit too. Now, Dubois has dominated people. Joe Joyce has dominated people. Again, like I said, the separation that I see is just very little between the two. I think Joe Joyce hits harder than Daniel Dubois, but I wouldn't say it's much harder. I do believe if you were to go blow by blow, Joyce would hurt you more, but I don't think he would hurt you that much more. So again, every advantage that I give to the other guy is just barely an advantage over the other guy. But still, the advantage that Joe Joyce will remain to have is he's still going to be bigger and stronger. Now, that strength can help you a lot in the clinch to where, you know, like Chisora was doing to Usyk, you can hold somebody step to the side and tee off on everybody. I'm not saying Joe Joyce is going to do that because that's not really stylistically how he fights, but it gives that opportunity when you're much stronger than somebody to do things like that, to control them in the clinch, to put your weight on the back of their shoulder to weigh their body down, to try to bend them in half and lean on their, their complete back so that you get their waist and legs tired. There's certain advantages that you can get in boxing with strength. That's not the end-all, be-all, but it does help at times in the right circumstances. So, again, I think this comes down to who can take the most. And that's pretty much it. And because I've never seen Joe Joyce rocked, and I could be wrong, but I haven't. To my, my recollection, I can't remember a time when I saw him rocked. I just think that he's more durable. And they're both going to hit each other. And I just think that... Daniel, being the younger man, is going to fold to the, the older man that's, in my opinion, more durable. That, that's all it really comes down to is durability. And I, I really think that Joe Joyce just has the durability aspect. Um, how long do I see this fight going? Not long. Not long at all. This is going to be a six and under fight, whoever wins. Because like I said stylistically they both pretty much fight the same where they gonna come straight at you and they gonna start unloading so i don't know like oh and, and movement like bobbing and weaving i would give the edge to joe joyce for up close movement but again that movement that i give the advantage to of joe joyce is really nullified because even though joe joyce can move better than daniel Dubois. Again, he always seems a way to get his head hit. He could be moving the complete opposite way of a punch and still manage to get his head hit. So it's amazing how, how he does that. Maybe he's weakening the fist of the opponent by just hitting it with his head. I don't know. But he gets hit in the head a lot. But again, Daniel DeWise is no Floyd Mayweather Jr. when it comes to the defensive skills. So I don't know. I know I'm rambling at this point and saying the same thing over and over like I sometimes do. But again, I believe to conclude this, I think it's going to be a six and under. I, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if it was over within the first three to five rounds, somewhere in there. But I'm going to say it's definitely going to be done by the six. I think both men are going to come straight out the gate at each other. I don't nah. First round, they might be a little hesitant. To throw at each other because they're both power punchers and they both like i said fight similar but i think after the first round you're gonna really start to see them open up on each other and no matter how it goes i don't see them fighting at range i don't see them i don't see joe joy choosing his height i don't see him standing back and fighting off the back foot 
to take advantage of that. I just see them both coming like two angry gorillas in the forest, chest to chest, and going at it. Beast mode. So let me know what y'all think. If y'all think it'll play out different, write it in the comment section. And yeah, to my UK fans, this is where y'all can shine the most because y'all probably have watched these guys fight a lot more than a lot of my American subs, being that they're from the UK. But yeah, I got my money on Joe Joyce. I've been saying it for two years now, three years now. I don't know. I've been wanting to see him fight. But I, I really believe that Joe Joyce has got this. Anyways, like I said, hit up the comment section. I appreciate y'all listening. That's enough driving and rambling for today.